Yo, what is up, YouTube? This is Captain Marvelous here with episode 2 of the Brooklyn Nets My GM series. Please leave a like and a comment and please subscribe for more content, more Brooklyn Nets GM videos. Um, picking up where we left off in the last episode now. Brook Lopez was moping and we had just traded his buddy Jared Jack. Unfortunately, he's about to get more upset because we traded more of his friends. That's the way life be sometimes. Alright, so let's go back and try once again to trade these scrubs, Sergey Karasev. Yes, yes, I like this deal from the Philadelphia 76ers. What is Gary Harris looking at these days? He's been balling off for the Denver Nuggets. Yeah, he went to 73, and he's only 21 years old. I'm not giving him the first round pick for him, but yeah, okay. Gary Harris, good for you. Yo, how's everybody doing today? Evening, afternoon, twilight, dawn, whatever it is when you're looking at this. DeLon Wright. I own... <laughs> Yo, imagine the Toronto Raptors would trade back for Andrea Bagnani. Oh my goodness, and give up one of their recent first round picks. I would love that, but they're not going to do that. So, let's keep looking through here. Um, not seeing anything too good. Yeah, man, the game is caught on, man. The game knows what's up, man. They're not trying to give me uh, decent plays for these garbage. Ah. Uh. Now, once again, see, this is another pick. We have this pick. We're just going to have to swap with the Clippers if our rec if their record is not in the top five. Um, so, they're actually offering us a pick that in real life we have, but in the game, unfortunately, we don't have it. So, I'm interested in this deal, and I'm also interested in this deal right here from the 76ers. Um, Harles Thompson's a better player than um, Jakara Sampson just because of his ability to shoot the three. So, interested in that deal. Interested in this deal where we get our second round pick back. Get a second round pick with him and he's on a cheap deal? Sure, why not? A second round pick, but yeah, the Mavericks in real life would not do this deal. Okay, so looks like the deal that we're going to be going with is going to be Corey Joseph. We can have a reunion with him. That'd be nice. Yeah, it looks like the most realistic deal that we're going to be able to pull off. Yeah, the Warriors are not giving up Festus Azili for Andrea Bignotti. Looks like the most realistic deal and best deal is going to be this one. Just because we get a point guard back and we just trade away Jared Jack. So we could use a, a solid point guard who's young on a really good deal for the next two years. He's not great by any means. Look at his C, C, C. He's a decent playmaker. He's not really good at anything, but he has potential. So that's what we're interested in and his little salary. So uh, Willie Reed... Yeah, I mean, he's better in real life than he is in this game. So I'd be sad to see him go in real life, but in this game, he's going to have to go. So let me just see if I can try to get a, a second round pick from them somewhere down the line. And they want Thomas Robinson to get Isaiah Cannon um, for a second round pick. Let me try to see if I can get this year's second round pick from them. I don't want Jakar Sampson, and I don't want to give him Marco Brown or this Hawks pick. Yeah, if I'm gonna give up Thomas Robinson for it, dang, he's he's a really good rebounder in this game though. He has a lot of more uh, value in this game. So just to get a second, round, oh, it's not even their pick. It's a try to get the 76 or second round pick. They don't have their own second round pick. That doesn't make any sense. What? 
So they have all these first round picks and stuff. Ah, right, y'all. Okay, so just gonna stick with this with this regular old solid deal right here. All right, so let's see how we looking now in terms of picks. We got the Celtics pick this year. We got the Hawks pick next year. Uh, I think we have the Celtics pick next year and the Hawks pick two years from now. So we're still pretty, we're still in pretty bad shape. So let's try to see if we can make a couple more trades. Let's see if we can get for Thiago Splitter, but we don't want anyway. Second round pick for him and a, and a decent point guard. The Bucks are looking for a center. And in real life, Greens Vasquez is hurt, so this is a realistic deal we could do. Plus, his salary expires at the end of the year, which is better than having Tiago Splitter on the books for next year. So, so far looking pretty solid. Okay, Taj Gibson, sure, and, and garbage, you know. Taj Gibson's a better player than Tiago Splitter, so we're trading up. Yeah, I'm just passing by some, once again some of these unrealistic trades, so nothing much to look at here. Okay, we can come back to that. Let's see what we can get for Tim Hardaway Jr., who probably I shouldn't trade, but I'll just see what he's worth. Will the Thunder do this deal in real life? They might. They, they might do that deal in real life. So I'm getting no love in any of these trades right now. I'm getting no love. Oh my goodness, guys. Come on. No, Nobody wants to help me. Everybody wants to let me die. Let me see. I'm not in a hurry to trade Joe Johnson. But let me see what's available for him. Sometimes it's nothing. But in this instance, okay, there is something. Okay, now see. They would not do this deal in real life. Um... Because, yeah, it's dumb. Look at that. Joe Johnson's 34 years is 75 overall. And, and Ishmith is a 77 overall. And almost 10 years younger. And you give me a first round pick? Why? But, alas. Now, um, the Lakers might do this. Because Roy Hibberson is expiring anyway. Um, and they can use, you know, they can, sure, why not get Joe Johnson? Um, and you get rid of Nick Young. So, basically, you're trading Nick Young for Joe Johnson. And you're getting another young power forward. And uh, you trade him for Roy Hibber, who they don't really like or want anyway. Um, and the Toronto Raptors would be crazy to do that deal. And this would just be a salary dump on the part of the Trailblazers to help them reach the salary floor. The problem is they like Alan Crabb. All of a sudden now, Alan Crabb can play. So they would not do this deal. Okay, so I'm not going to get anything back for uh, Joe Johnson, unfortunately. So it's about that time to... Uh, to actually get into, you know, doing some real game stuff. But first, uh, let me just look at one more thing. One more of these trade options. See if I, can get, if I can package both of these guys who I didn't really want anyway to get a better player. See, I don't want to give up a pick, but this would be a perfect swap right here. So yo, what is up with everybody today? What, what what trades do you guys want to see me do? Boom, right here. You know what? I might give up this Atlanta pick just because it's more it's more helpful for us to have um, Taj Gibson than Thiago Splitter. 
Joe Kino is hurt in real life. Pau Gasol might leave in free agency next year. They're going to get a second round pick. Why not trade for a solid um, a solid lockdown center who can help them out and they can flip for a trade pick. I mean for a trade chip. So yeah, I could see the, the Bulls actually doing that deal in real life. Now this would be benefits because their pick is going to be better, but I'm not trying to get locked into that three years. So unfortunately, no, that's not happening. Now this would be a nice salary dump, I guess. Um, but the Philadelphia 76ers, why did they want to do this deal? I mean, there's no reason. So I'm gonna do this right here, I think, to get the better player. And let me see if I can get a pick from them. Sure, Wayne Ellington for Chris, whoever this loser is. Absolutely. As long as I, as long as I don't want to lose any picks, so if I'm giving them a pick, I'll I'll, I'll give take back a pick from the fur, from a year further away, um, you know, just to get the pick back. Now, um, of course, Brook Lopez is our best trade chip. I'm not gonna try to trade him just yet. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna try to trade him just yet. Um, because you know if you're a Nets fan you want to try to build with some of the players from the Nets so If it comes down to it. I, I, I would be willing to trade him, but I want to avoid it if possible So for right now keep him on the team especially definitely just for this year now The Portland Trailblazers could use a solid player like Taj Gibson because right now they're in the AC If they want to try to stay in the AC you know, that would work out for them. So doing a salary dump like this and getting a second round pick back from him for him would be nice. Um, but you know what? For right now, I'm going to play him and try to get his, his uh, value up. So I'm going to go to the boom coaching game plan right here. Let's see how the... Uh, have the CPU built, rebuild the rotation, see who ends up starting. So Shane Larkin is starting over, over Kendall Marshall. Okay, we're gonna increase this to a 10-man rotation. Oh wow, they actually have Tony Brown there as the coach now. Okay, so they upgraded. They, they you know, I, I'll give 2K this. They update their stuff, man. They update their stuff. You know, they don't, they don't mess around. And I'm going to see, I'm going to put Brook Lopez's first scoring option. I'm trying to get him to be an all-star, get his value up. And, you know, because he's the best player. Get Joe Johnson, get his value up. And Taj Gibson, get his value up by making them the, the highest scoring options. So, yeah, that works out. And we got a pretty decent shooting guard there starting off with us. Um, so, and guys like uh, McCullough and Brown, they're just going to be training. They're going to, you know, they're going to go get their training up later on. So, that's the coach game plan. So, I'm going to sim a couple games in the next episode. And, uh, yeah, we're going to keep going from there. So, please leave a like, subscribe, and um, I'm just getting underway. Trust me, there's much more to come from the Brooklyn Nets My GM series, guys. Please leave a like. Please leave a comment. Please subscribe. Have a good day, guys.